Yeah. Oh, yeah. Very nice. Very nice. Uh, this is a big one. Huh? Yes. Tell you the land. Very nice. Look at the boy. It's friendly. Yeah. This is a guy with food. Huh? This is a guy Sometimes I put in the food. Mm -hmm. Happy that thing wags the food. Sometimes, not always. No, sometimes it's not always. It's not wagging around another dog, or it's just being aggressive. It's showing that, uh, how you call it? It's just being aggressive. It's just being aggressive. As far as commercial winery, Buena Vista is the oldest winery here in California. This winery was started by a gentleman by the name of Samuele Sebastiani who came over from Italy, from Neddy, Italy, where he learned how to make wine in the monastery cellars over there. He came over and arrived in New York. And then took a few months to make some money to get and earn his passage across the United States, where he came to Sonoma, where his uncle owned the land here in Sonoma. Mostly grazing land, some fruit trees, and some vines for making their own wine. Italian families always have vineyards to make their own home. So, he had two jobs. One, he used to make wine at another winery. He was working in the cellar. And two, he was a miner. He was a miner in the mountains, the Mayakama Mountains, right behind us. That mountain range splits Napa and Sonoma. So he would work in the quarries of those mountains, and he'd pull the rocks out, and those rocks were brought down to make the streets of San Francisco. Right? Oh. So two jobs. So he earned enough money to buy a horse and a cart. And then he earned a little bit more money to buy one barrel. And he made a batch of Zinfandel. And he put that barrel on the back of that horse and cart. And he drove it up to his buddies in the mines. And he sold it to them for a nickel, a cup. And then on the way back from town, people would come out of their homes with their jugs, just like the jugs you see up there. And he'd fill them up, they'd pay him, and within three years, he had enough money to go to his uncle and say, I want to buy the land. And with a handshake, they settled on a deal. And through hard work, he raised the money and bought his uncle out within five years. And started this winery in 1904. So well over 100 years old here in Sonoma. All these barrels that you see around you were once used by the Sebastiani family to make wine. 5,000 gallon neutral redwood barrels from Northern California. This is why neutral redwood. Sebastiani's and Italian style winemaking is all about fruit forward wines. They did not want oaky, woodsy flavors to their wines. In fact, August Sebastiani had a very famous quote. He said, if you want the taste of wood in your mouth while you're enjoying my beautiful wines, chew on a toothpick. <laughs> all about the fruit. So you literally notice all these barrels are labeled. We have Pinot Noir, we have Zinfandel, we have Barbera right here. The reason they're labeled is because that tells you what varietal goes in that barrel. Because once you put a varietal in that barrel, that barrel is now only that varietal. You can never put another varietal in there. And the reason is because the dry wood in that barrel absorbs the juice so whatever you put in it next is going to be affected by that same juice. So if you mix varietals, you're going to destroy that wine. Right. So if you put a Barbera in a Barbera barrel over at Heidelberg Castle in Germany. Right? Absolutely. Right? 60,000 gallons of Zinfandel. And again, all these barrels were used up to 12 years ago. And at that point, the state of California required this building to be rebuilt and made earthquake safe. In fact, if you look at that corner there, you can see where the wall stopped, the original stone wall, and they extended it out and made this a museum. Because all these barrels actually used to be right back there in front of you in the barrel room. So, up to 12 years ago, all these were used, and now we switch to that 60 gallon format. It's much better for making wine. We have a little plaque. It would take you 825 years Drink that whole barrel. <laughs> Come on down, folks. Plenty of room. Keep going down. We can fit everybody in here. And that is considered small.
small in the industry. 220,000 cases. The reason for that is bigger wineries, Gallo, Mondavi. There are stories about sometimes you would come into work and you'd go to your office and the door of your office would be gone. <laughs> and then three weeks later you'd come back and there would be this beautifully carved door just for you. He also had a bit of a sense of humor. You look back over here at this barrel, you go, on this direct property, all of our vines are right across the street at the Misson Vineyard, the original vineyard here in Sonoma. That vineyard right across the street, which we now own, started all the vineyards in this whole area. Then we have another vineyard directly across called the Cherry Block. That's where remember in October is rain. Yeah, swells up the grapes. In fact, usually about two weeks before you're going to harvest the grapes, you cut off all the water. And the vine actually... Sh <laughs> so this is our fermentation room. This is where we make the wine, right here. The grapes come into the building and they go to this area on top, which is called triage. Literally, you have people standing here, and by hand, they're removing anything from that process that we don't want. That was the grapes, leaves, stems, anything else that gets
Yeah.